Watch this video closely and you can see how fast it happens. Brought to the border in buses, 393 Central American migrants get dropped off and are into the United States in minutes. It's the largest group Tucson sector officials say they've seen in more than a decade. I think is most alarming is that the fact that the group in and of itself, the majority of it was made up of children. There were 100, 199 children accompanied by parents, and there were 31 children that were by themselves. And we're talking about infants all the way up to 16 or 17 years old. The size of the group put a big strain on border resources. Officials say they had to shut down a checkpoint and divert more than 100 agents to process the migrants. A move officials say opens the border up. Smugglers are exploiting these very vulnerable people. Last week alone here in Tucson sector, we had 17 felons. These are individuals that were convicted for child molestation, robbery, narcotic violations, and an assortment of other crimes. They use the vulnerability created by this humanitarian crisis to exploit gaps in our border. While this is the largest group this year, there have been dozens of others. Nearly 40 groups of 50 or more people have been detained in the last eight months. Part of this, this crisis is the fact that these, these folks have been coached by the alien smugglers to exploit the loophole in our legal system, which is to request asylum. Uh, recognizing that there's limited detention space, particularly for family units, particularly for children, which means that in the span of upwards of 20 days, they're going to be released. Now, the migrants are now being processed and given a medical evaluation. After that, they will be turned over to Immigration and Customs Enforcement. For News 4 Tucson, I'm Nick Vinzan.